This is a recording to show you how to use Blackboard to automatically take attendance for the Collaborate virtual learning video sessions in Blackboard. My name is Kevin Taylor, and here is a Blackboard Ultra course that I am doing, which if you're going to use Collaborate, will take attendance for you. Now there's a little work you got to do, but it pays off in the end, in my opinion. This isn't going to work for Zoom. If you use Zoom, Zoom and Collaborate are not going to talk to each other. Uh, Blackboard and Zoom aren't going to talk. So you have to use Collaborate. Now to make it easy, the best thing to do is to go over here. You can see how I've already done this in this class. You can actually change the menus here underneath a class underneath the class so click there and if you do tool link and you can call it collaborate as I've done blackboard collaborate or ultra uh, and then you're gonna tell it you want the collaborate ultra you can pick what it is so blackboard collaborate ultra available to users it's gonna give you that little button right there, which is great because then the students go into Blackboard for their Collaborate session, they click on the class, they go in here, and it takes them right to Blackboard Collaborate, which is Blackboard's video platform thingy. So you don't have to send them invites or codes or let them in like in Zoom. They're just going to automatically have access as they're enrolled in the class. Now, once you've done this, the first thing I would do is lock the course room. So you can see there's a course room here that's standard and it's always there and you either lock it or unlock it. So what is the course room? Course room is kind of a cool concept in that it is a permanent persistent room always available for a particular class. So in theory you would use it if you wanted to meet with students outside of class online or have advising hours or uh, office hours just for that class, you could just have this unlocked and they can kind of join it at any time, which means the room is available and they'll see it. It sounds great. I never use it. So if you're not going to use it, lock it because if you leave it open, what will happen is when students go to log in to collaborate, they're going to see two rooms. They're going to see a particular class sessions room, and they're going to see the course room. They're going to log into the wrong one and get confused and email you because, understandably, there's two rooms visible to them. So don't do that. You want to go ahead and lock that classroom. And if you're going to use class sessions like I'm going to show you, even if you want to use the course room, I would keep it normally locked and because you'll forget and cause problems. All right, so what we're going to do is create a session. And I'm going to call this, you know, I've already got a class introduction for my up upcoming class, but let's create a new one. And I'm going to call it, Why Do People Like Sports? Because uh, this is something I personally don't understand at all. But um, it's a big world, I get it. So well, I'm going to set this to start on Monday, January 15th, and this is the, the fiddly bit, and let's say it's an 11 o'clock class. You can type sum in Blackboard. Um, the end time doesn't matter so much because you can start and end early, and so I just do 40 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever. I like the early entry possibility because you do get conscientious students who are going to log in early and you want that available for them. Description, you could do your assignment or um, there for that, or you could call it something if you want. Uh, the easiest thing would be to use your syllabus and copy and paste things or titles. You might even number them here. So this is session 01, why do people like sports? Now the kicker with doing this, and you can do some settings here about things. I don't yeah, I don't really change any of that. This is the kicker. This is what you've got to do is attendance reporting, share attendance information with the LMS, the learning management system, which itself is Blackboard. So it's, I don't know why it doesn't know its own name, but, and, and I also don't know why you've got to check it for every session. There ought to be a global setting. 
but it's blackboard so it wants you to die while clicking things so that's what we're going to do you can set this as well about what considers someone late or absent and how much time they have to be in the session to be considered present very cool click create okay now there's a session and when the students log into the class at 15 minutes beforehand this session they're going to see this is available they're going to go in there and be able to participate so you don't have to send them links or let them in or anything bing bang boom they're in there you can even set it to record the class when you're in there and they will be able to see old classes and the recordings it they hide it a little they have to go in and search archive i'll bring up here's an old class let's see if it'll work this is from a year and a half ago so here's a class from fall 2020 and a student or yourself all upcoming sessions it's only showing new sessions here on the filter but if they go to previous sessions they can click on a class and see the recording so that's genius if you have students miss a class because they're sick or covid quarantine or sports they can in theory watch the class that they missed because it's been recorded you're going to tell it to record during the class session the live class session um, kind of like in zoom and something else you're going to tell it to record now the where this all pays off is in terms of attendance tracking so in this older class when i go here you can see wow there's the attendance this was what blackboard collaborate did automatically on november 16th we had a class at 11 a.m it was titled it was number class 36 and titled bonhoeffer and there i can see which students attended and which were absent and uh, it will also mark them if they're late i can click this here and it tells me the source was collaborate notice because it did it automatically i can't change it normally here you could take attendance and mark someone present and absent to some degree but this won't let you exactly because it came through collaborate um, so that is how to use blackboard collaborate like a ninja to automatically take attendance for virtual classes that are synchronous, meaning they are delivered live and not pre-recorded. And I hope that is helpful. Goodbye.